before watching the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and enable bell notification to never miss an update from us hello everyone good morning all of you this is ashima shukla and you're watching us on entry channel <clears throat> in this video we'll talk about prasad scheme now there have been some latest developments regarding this scheme and we're going to talk about that first in the first part we're going to talk about the latest developments that have taken place or the latest news that has happened recently why it has come to the limelight and second in the second part of the video we're going to talk about the event that is what this scheme is all about so we'll talk about the scheme in the second part and in the third part i'll be giving you a few questionnaires or the formats or languages of question in which you can understand how this a whole scheme is relevant for your examination perspective of which the answers you're going to answer in the comment section right so uh, these are the three parts of this video we're going to begin with the first part that is what is the latest news event related to the scheme so the uh, most recent one we can say is about the tourist facilitation center now this facilitation center was recently inaugurated at guruvayur kerala by union minister of state for tourism and culture now uh, as you can see the ministry which has inaugurated it is tourism and culture therefore this whole scheme is associated with tourism right so ye jo puri scheme hai ye tourism se related hai ministry of tourism ke under aati hai so the current minister of tourism is shri prahlad singh patel और इसका जो इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट है वो ये है टूरिस्ट फैसिलिटेशन सेंटर विच इज बीन इनोग्रेटेड एट गुरु केरला नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड दैट इज इट इज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट सच अ फैसिलिटेशन सेंटर हैज बीन ओपन पहली बार इस तरीके का कोई फैसिलिटेशन सेंटर ओपन किया गया है एंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ इट्स कंस्ट्रक्शन वॉज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव सेवन करोर्स right next what is going to be uh, under this whole project of this facilitation center so components are cctv network infrastructure multi level car parking and tourist amenities center which is going to be built under this प्रोजेक्ट सो डेवलपमेंट ऑफ गुरु वयर इज अ होल प्रोजेक्ट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ गुरु वयर जो है ये एक पूरा प्रोजेक्ट है जिसके अंदर सीसीटीवी नेटवर्क इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर मल्टी लेवल कार पार्किंग और टूरिस्ट एमिटीज ये तीनों को कंस्ट्रक्ट करने का यू नो जिम्मा लिया गया है एंड इसके लिए अप्रोक्सीमेटली फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स करोड़ रुपीज अलॉट किए गए हैं इस गुरु वयर डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट के अंदर Apart from that, earlier this year, इसी साल अराउंड फेब्रवरी मार्च टूरिज्म रिलेटेड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फैसिलिटीज एट वेरियस बुद्धिस्ट साइट्स वर्द है बुद्धिस्ट साइट्स में भी डेवलपमेंट का यू नो एक स्कीम लॉन्च किया गया था ये जो इनिशिएशन लिया गया था बुद्धिस्ट साइट्स का लिए दिस वॉज अर्लियर दिस ईयर एंड देर फोर दैट इज ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंट ये जो है ये प्रसाद स्कीम एंड स्वदेश दर्शन दोनों के यू नो जॉइंट फॉर्म में इसे लॉन्च किया गया था राइट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दीज स्कीम्स बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द बुद्धिस्ट साइट्स दैट हैव बीन यू नो आइडेंटिफाइड तो कुछ आइकॉनिक टूरिस्ट साइट्स डेवलप की जाएंगी तो आइकॉनिक टूरिस्ट साइट्स जो डेवलप की जाएंगी कुछ बुद्धिस्ट साइट्स जो हैं वो हैं कुछ बुद्धिस्ट साइट्स जो बोध गया और अजंता एंड लोरा के अंदर right so we'll be seeing further about the scheme uh, in the second part so first of all full form of this scheme prasad is an acronym for primal uh, pilgrimage rejuvenation and spiritual augmentation drive ye iski full form hai and as the uh, name suggests isme pilgrimage sites ko uh, ek new form mein developmental form ke taur pe uh, you know reinvent kiya ja raha hai to infrastructural developments are going to take place at pilgrimage sites under this scheme and therefore various buddhist sites various cities have been marked various infrastructure projects have been started jaise guru vayar project hai kaun sa ministry hai that has been launched by ministry of tourism ministry of tourism is the one which is responsible for this whole scheme it was launched in 2015 and is 100% centrally funded that is the central government of india funds this whole project uh, no matter how much amount is there right 
Now, uh, if we talk further about the scheme, there have been 30 infrastructural development projects that have been initiated under this scheme, and there are 12 cities which have been identified under the scheme, and they are going to carry on further developments under this scheme. Right. So these 12 cities are in various states, not particular states, like two, uh, two cities from UP, Madhura and Varanasi, then two from Tamil Nadu, Velkarani and Kanchipuram, then one from Punjab, that is Amritsar, one from Rajasthan, that is Ajmer, then we have Puri from Odisha, Gaya from Bihar, Amravati from Andhra Pradesh and other such things. Right. Now, Buddhist sites, as I told you, there are iconic tourist sites that are going to be developed uh, as per the recent development of including the Buddhist sites. Pahli bar, these sites were included in this So earlier it was the pilgrimage sites were basically Hindu and other but not Buddhist ones. So for the first time and those two sites are both there and Ajanta and Elora. These both have been identified for development of iconic sites. Right? Now apart from that, when was all this Buddhist sites been inaugurated? There was a Buddhist conclave that had happened and under that conclave or in that conclave it was designated that there are going to be certain buddhist sites which are of international importance so uske liye this is going to take place and there have also been signages that have been installed in Chinese language at various Buddhist monuments in UP and Sinhala language which is the official language of Sri Lanka at Sanji monuments in MP. The Sanji monuments are very hold a very important role in uh, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is very important in the Sanji monuments. Ko. So, in Sinhala language, ke andar, uh, MP ke andar Sanji monuments are unko unki jo signages signages yani jab aap monument visit karte hain to you see certain description which is there wo description sinhala language mein so that description is going to be there in sinhala language and certain there approximately like is four or five sites or monuments which have been identified in up those monuments are going to be converted to or have will have a translation of chinese language as well as per the recent developments right all this came after the buddhist conclave that had happened and then we have uh, now this scheme is completely different from Hriday's scheme. How? If we talk about this scheme, Prasad scheme, uh, the basic purpose is spiritual augmentation, rejuvenation of heritage sites. Then there are community based developments that are going to be happening. Um, awareness is going to be spread regarding the monuments and the places which are there. Tourism development is going to take place, that is local arts, culture, handicrafts. So, in all these things, the monument is going to be the local culture, hai, uska development, awareness, felana, pilgrimage sites, ko ready karna, international importance, ke se use develop karna. these are the schemes, which, these are the pointers which are there for Prasad scheme. But, on the other hand, Hriday scheme, which stands for Heritage City Development and Augmentation Yojana or Hriday scheme, that is basically for preservation of heritage sites. So, what is its purpose is that bringing heritage site, making heritage sites more accessible to people, um, you know, installing street lights and making footpaths and roads and proper drainage and cleanliness and waste management. So basically, the heritage sites which are there, the heritage sites are unko sahi tarike se saaf sutre tarike se rakha jaye. Uh, developmental process pura ho. That is the whole infrastructure should be made again with a clear way. Any the brokages hai unko cover up kiya jaye, mending ki jaye. That is under Hriday scheme. Whereas under Prasad scheme, there are infrastructure developments like nay install developments karna ya proper parking development karna these are the things which are there for prasad scheme that makes hriday scheme and prasad scheme a bit different from each other right now uh, under this we have covered in our jiffy we have covered the most important segment of this scheme now i'm going to give you a few questions which we have already discussed the answers of but uh, you can answer them in the comment section First of all, uh, which ministry is Prasad scheme under? Prasad scheme comes under which ministry? Right? That is one possible question. Second possible question, in which year was Prasad scheme initiated or inaugurated? Third, the first of its kind facilitation center facilitation center has been opened first of its kind at which 
प्लेस वेयर हैज ये ये फैसिलिटेशन सेंटर जो है ये पहला फैसिलिटेशन सेंटर कहाँ पर ओपन हुआ है कौन से ईयर में प्रसाद स्कीम आई थी प्रसाद स्कीम किस मिनिस्ट्री के अंदर आती है एंड अदर पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन कैन बी आइकॉनिक बुद्धिस्ट साइट्स कौन कौन सी है विच आर दी आइकॉनिक बुद्धिस्ट साइट्स आइडेंटिफाइड देन फिफ्थ वेयर विल दी चाइनीज साइनेजेस बी इस्टेब्लिश Chinese signages are going to be established in which state? Then we have a Sinhala signages are going to be established in which state? The MPs for Sinhala. Similarly, Chinese is a new P. Then iconic Buddhist sites facilitation center year. Which ministry handles the scheme? These are the possible six questions. The very easily possible six questions that you can expect from this scheme, and therefore it makes it a more important one. right so uh, over here i'll be winding up this session and i hope this video was helpful to all of you and a lot informative as it was aimed to be uh, we'll see you in the next video until then goodbye take care and have a great day ahead